high happens. And then like a wave, you know, you go down, but a wave lets go of what it no longer needs, and as it crashes, it comes right back up, it meets new water, collaborates, and creates a new wave. And so mm. the sort of whole philosophy is that the idea that when you go through challenge in life, my mother always told me the natural instinct would be to close off your heart and not let anyone know and mm. keep it to yourself. Yeah, that's but very if, British, actually. Very British, you, you do do up a lip. But yeah. if you can accept what's happened, open your heart, reach out to help someone else, there will always be someone worse off than you. And by that very action, you will bring love and purpose mm. into your life. So that's really the, the theme behind, you know, the, the whole Open Hearts book. And, well, uh, see, that makes, that's very, very sensible because sometimes I think, particularly people over here, are a bit turned off by what you would call sort of new agey, hippy-dippy stuff, you know, know that is, comes out of LA. Right. But that's sensible. Well, I'll tell you where said. it came from. It came, <laughs> the source was my mother, right. who survived a concentration camp in Indonesia, Dutch, in, uh, um, Dutch East Indies, in World War II. She would have been 100 yesterday. Oh. Isn't that amazing? Gosh, and, and here we are talking about I know, that's that, good. That was sort of words of wisdom from her. But that's proper, proper words of wisdom, isn't it? Yes. That's, that's really proper. Yeah. 